So Eliza's been loving this fairy garden that we made a few months ago. It's played with so many times. LOL's join, Littlest Pet Shop joins. All sorts of toys have been playing in here. But she says that there's not really enough room to have parties, garden parties, things like that. And she'd like a park. So... Hi guys, my mum did a great big surprise for me. And so I'll show you how we made it. Let's go. For the base of the Poundland Fairy Park, we used an A3 poster frame from Poundland. I began by stripping away all of the plastic and hardware. I removed all the frame and kept the plastic front for a craft another time. I then attached the frame back onto the cardboard and secured it with hot glue. Using coasters that we got on offer from Poundland for 25p a pack, I'm using those for a decking patio area for the park. Three fitted perfectly along here and I secured them with hot glue. I pressed the coasters down firmly and allowed them to dry. Before getting the grass that it, Poundland was selling at Easter. This grass can be quite messy but it was a pound a roll. And with a few snips it can be tidied up. So I measured this, it was slightly shorter widthways than what I needed so I added another patch that you can see there and stuck it all down with hot glue. It took about five minutes to get to this stage and so far we've spent a pound on the frame, 25p on the coasters and a pound for the grass roll but there was plenty left over. I'm making sure the grass is stuck down firmly and quite flat as well because you don't want your toys to be falling over on the time on lumps of hot dried glue. And now I've just flipped it over and just trimming off the edges and I'm securing the edges with hot glue as well. And have these topiary balls. When I purchased ours, they were only 50 pence a ball and they are perfect for breaking apart and using as bushes in fairy gardens. Um, I attach them with hot glue and I always use a glue stick just to poke them down because they are quite small and fidgety. Um, Poundland have also got other mini plants um, available for a pound and little flowers as well. But I tend to buy a lot of my little flowers from China. You may have to wait a few weeks for them to arrive, um, but they are very very cheap the white flowers I'm using here were I believe they were 29p or 39p with free postage from China but I did have to wait six weeks so I'm just to make it look like um, plants that you'd find in the park bushes um, all those kinds of planty things and I'm just building it up and I will also use some of the flowers which look a bit like tiny lavender um, just to add some splashes of colour and I'll carry on doing that all along the border for the fairy garden. 
This is one of the flowers I had from China. Um, it was miniature baby's breath. I got this from Amazon. Some of the larger flowers did look too large, but I added just a few of them to um, give a couple of pink splashes of colour. The yellow ones on the bunch that you can see there, um, they look very, very cute when they were put in there. They were, they were a great scale. I spent the longest time on this. All the rest of the project must have took about five minutes to put together and about five minutes of glue drying time. But the flower garden part, I was just in heaven arranging these. I replicated these plants for next to the patio area but just doing the corners of each side um, just to add a bit of colour and texture on that side as well. And that's how it looks so far. So I think it's ready for a little bit of furniture. For the picnic blanket, I had a little bit of a fat square left over. And then I've added in some Shopkin, some LOLs, and there is a fairy hanging around in that garden somewhere. The bench was from Range, but I have seen them in Poundland since, but they're in the toy section. And the fairies are all ready for Eliza to get home from school and see what she thinks of her magical fairyland path. I can't believe you made this. I actually thought you bought that from the stores. As soon as I came in, I was like, you brought that from the stores until you said I made it. I was like, wait, what? You made that? <laughs> I actually did. I actually thought you made that from the It's okay. You, you, in my head, I was like, you don't have to make one. <laughs> you don't have to. It's just a wish. Wishes don't always come true. But you, you made it. You made, you made it. I feel so happy. Well, Eliza's joined the house and the park. And there's a lot more playroom now. And the wonderful thing is that it's just flat, so it spools away really easily. So, because um, this is the blossom tree. It's a very important to LOLs. Right. And it's very important. The glitter falls on the cake. And some people say, I won't eat it, but it's actually healthy for the cake because it's sugar which comes from fruit. Oh, okay. The fruit gets planted right there with the sugar on them, and they get eaten. Oh. Mm, Speak of it. So that's how fruit are made. Mm, imagination.